I shall explain to you the hollowness of the world, which is like the horn of a hare. This is hard to attain in all the worlds. Listen with an alert mind. Whatever trace of this world one hears or sees of it, the form of the seen and the form of the seer are all like the horn of the hare. Earth, water, fire, air, space, mind, intellect, ego, and transcendental light are all like the horn of the hare. destruction, birth, truth, the world and heavenly planetary systems, merit, sin, victory, and delusion are all like the horn of the hare. Lust, anger, greed, delusion, pride, delirium, infatuation, steadfastness, guru, disciple, teaching and such are all like the horn of the hare. I, you, the world, etc., the beginning, the end, the middle, the past, the future, and the present are all like the horn of the air. The gross body, the subtle body, the cause and even the effect, and what little of seeing and seeing there are, are all like the horn of the hare. The enjoyer, the objects and the enjoyment, ideal and non-dual characteristics, tranquility, inquiry and happiness are all like the horn of the hare. Ethical regulations, 
physical restraints, breath control, and discourses on such things. Movement, motion, thoughts are all like the horn of the hare. Ears, eyes, body, lineage, secrecy, inertia, hari, shiva, beginning, end, longing for emancipation, are all like the horn of the hare. The organs of knowledge, the five subtle senses, the organs of action, waking, dream, and similar states are all like the horn of the hare. the twenty-four tattvas, the four spiritual practices, homologous and heterologous groups are all like the horn of the hare. All the worlds, all the beings, all cultures, those with true significance, all kinds of ignorance, and all types of learning are all like the horn of the hare. All castes, all communities, all holy abodes and holy waters, all the Vedas, all the Shastras, are all like the horn of the hare. All types of bondage, all ways of liberation, all wisdom pertaining to the Lord, all periods of time, all instructions, are all like the horn of the hare. All existence, all action, all types of association with the wise, all duality, all perception of non-existence, are all like the horn of the hare. All Vedanta, all theories, all conclusions on the significance of the Shastras, the nature of true existence of all beings, are all like the horn of the hare.
Whatever little is comprehended, whatever world appears, whatever is heard from the Guru, are all like the horn of the hare. Whatever is thought of by the mind, whatever is willed any time, whatever is decided by the intellect, are all like the horn of the hare. Whatever is conveyed by speech, whatever meaningful talk is uttered, whatever is grasped by the sense organs, are all like the horn of the hare. Whatever objects are renounced, whatever is heard or seen, one's own and others are all like the horn of the hare. Whatever shines on account of reality, identity, and essence, and whatever is imagined by the mind, are all like the horn of the hare. Whatever is determined as the self, whatever is said to be eternal, and whatever is investigated by the mind, are all like the horn of the hare. Shiva destroys ever. Vishnu protects the three worlds. And verily the creator Brahma builds the worlds. All of these are like the horn of the hare. What is said to be the soul, whatever speech uttered, and statements like, this is the life cycle, are all like the horn of the hare. Whatever is there in the Puranas, whatever is established in the Vedas, the truths of the entire Upanishads are all like the horn of the hare.
Whatever is told to you in this chapter is all but the horn of the hare. He who hears this secret becomes Brahman himself.